Show us your moves. My name is Demo. I also go by Bromead, B-R-O-M-I-D on Twitch and Twitter. I'm here with my couch, the illustrious couch here, and we are going to be showing off Step Mania Tech. Now, what is that? You will see very shortly. We will show you. It's a, it's a showcase run. We'll show it off. Uh, we've seen other parts of Step Mania in the past. We've had four keys, which were done with fingers. We've had Not ITG, which was mods play that Spooty Biscuit, Windu showed off. Speaking of that, uh, Windu, couples as well. So what tech does differently is it's really all about patterning and all about accuracy. So I'm gonna let my couch dive into that in a little bit. Um, just really wanted to quickly shout out all the fans out there, uh, GDQ themselves, thank you for making this bonus game happen. Uh, we can't wait to show it off. I can't wait to get really sweaty and try my hardest to get some world records. Um, so with that said, I just wanna give one shout out before we start, and that's to Chris Stanford. Uh, Chris Stanford is a developer who created Step Mania, which is an open source way of enjoying four panel dance games back in the early 2000s. Thank you, Chris, uh, for what you put together, and uh, it's awesome to see the community keep on making it survive and thrive in the year 2023, guys. So with that, I'm gonna toss it to the couch to introduce themselves. We got Vincent ITG, we got Toph, and we got Telperion. Guys, excited to have you here in my house. Yeah, what's up? I'm Telperion, or Telp for short. I have been a dance game player, content creator, uh, tournament participant, and organizer for almost 15 years now. Um, I also live locally to Demo, so we've become Step Mania workout buddies from time to time. Uh, I also play a bunch of hand-based rhythm games, such as the DJ-style Beat Mania 2DX, the community-driven Be Music Source, and also Crossbeats, which is a touchscreen game that was also featured in GDQ's past. Uh, my specialty is the doubles mode, which is either two controllers with two hands or eight panels with two feet, and there are special charts written for that mode. Uh, I'm Toph. Uh, probably most of you know me from like the Super Smash Brothers Melee community, but what you probably didn't know was that my first uh, video game community that I was really a part of was actually the Stepmania community back when I was like, I don't know, 15? Because um, I really got into Melee in college, but in high school throughout, I was basically more of a 2DX player and honestly like a Stepmania uh, charter. So I made a lot of these sorts of charts. Um, and I actually, it's cool that I'm doing this because I actually really like, there was less of a distinction back then in terms of like the different types of charts. And I was mostly making them for people playing on the keyboard. Uh, but I really liked that technical style. I liked, I would slow songs down and, and uh, you know, really make sure that I was hitting these interesting rhythms that, you know, were in, in the songs that I was making maps to. Um, and so uh, it's cool that I'm doing this because I like seeing how far that has been pushed. And then I'm Vincent ITG, normally just go by Vincent. I'm a longtime rhythm gamer. I started playing in 2005, but probably didn't get involved with the community until uh, 2016. Um, I'm really involved with actually the rhythm game community in Nebraska, but since I've recently moved to the Bay Area, my main contribution is the International Timing Collective, which is kind of our home for four panel kind of technical play. Um, actually, people I meet these days don't even really know that DDR is still played, and then Step Mania is even more niche than that. So. Yeah. So to see our game in our community, like something I've been really passionate about for honestly like the past decade, to have a platform like this to show off, is just like amazing. So I'm just really, really stoked and really honored to be here. Should we start the run? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. You guys can explain the game while we're playing our first song, which will be Wandering EIP. Yep. And keep up and all that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, I would say that you know Step Mania is a rhythm game where you hit steps that go along to the music. Once the game starts, we'll see kind of how this game we is laid out. We can put a little more into context, yeah. Although, honestly, I think a lot of people, you know, played DDR back in the day. Um, so they're kind of familiar with how it is. You're good to go. Cool. Yep. So this is a level eight. Um, the run's going to go up to way higher than level eight. But we thought we'd start out with uh, something that just introduces dance games to you. So uh, without further ado, why don't we go ahead and count down the timer. Uh, let's go in three, two, one. Stop! Yep, so as I was saying earlier, Step Mania is a rhythm game where you hit steps that go along to the music. Arrows will scroll from the bottom of the screen to the receptors on the top, and once the arrows line up with the receptors is when you hit the arrows. And then we call the order of the arrows that come up a chart. Um, fortunately, you don't actually have to you know, keep your eyes super fixated on the top and wait for you know, like, that pixel perfect lineup. Um, every chart goes along with the music, so you can judge your sense of timing with the beat of the song. 
Yeah. So there are chart creators or step chartists, as we like to call them, that construct these patterns according to the rhythm of the song and what they think will be fun to for the player to play on a pad. It takes the song from being purely an auditory experience into like a kinesthetic, like a more immersive experience for it. The dancer. It's, it's, it's an art style, honestly, where they're creating like a physical expression of how they feel the song should yeah. go, right? I know Dima likes to refer to it as an interpretive dance. It is so. interpretive dance, almost like a choreography, right? Yeah. It's a choreography. Yep. Um, in this game, as far as scoring goes, it's not enough just to hit the notes. You get rewarded for hitting notes perfectly on time. So a perfect score requires you to hit all blue fantastic, but only allows you to be early or late by 15 milliseconds. So for your standard X60 FPS game, that's a subframe error. Um, after that, white fantastics are 23 milliseconds, and the window just gets bigger from there until it gets calculated as a miss. If you aren't within six frames at 60 hertz, which is about, I forget how many milliseconds off the top of my head, you miss, you miss the note entirely. Yep. So every step within six frames, remember that. Yep. When we're seeing the way that Demo's playing this game, it's helpful to move as efficiently as we can. With an eight, it's really simple, but we're gonna crank it up all the way to 14s, right? So it's a lot of, you know, alternating your feet whenever it's possible, yep. trying not to reset back to the center, um, staying close to the center, maybe not even trying to hit too hard, because some of these notes have like over a thousand steps that happen in the span of For as sure. short as two minutes. Yep, right? and also so. even, even holding the bar to make sure that you're, you conserve energy as much as possible. In fact, a lot of the charts these days are designed to be played with the bar. Yep. So. so wow, that looking at the score, that's only three notes away from a perfect score. Mm -hmm. Three yep. notes out of the subframe blue fantastic yep. window. So let's look at the score scheme just to get familiar with it a little bit. Um, this just shows all of the judgments. Right now, Demo got a perfect score on this song. Um, a lot of top players really just go by how many errors they made rather than right. the score itself. So a slang in the community we like to say is that Demo got three on Wandering, which is just the white count. Yep. yep. And you'll know because Demo's a very good player that we refer to the the white fantastic, the 1.5 frame window instead of I would refer to two greats because I was in like the five frame window or something. So <laughs> yeah, if I ever say I got three on something, you'll you'll know it's like three greats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that's our first 100% of the day, which we in the community call a quad star, because there's four stars, so that's a quad. Uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, together with my partner, for every score I get that is four stars, we're gonna donate $100. Whoa, wow. whoa! If there's a score that's three stars, which is 99 to 100%, or rather 99 to 999, we're gonna do 75. Two stars, one degree lower, 98, we're gonna do 50. One star, we'll do 25. If I happen to get all blues, which is plus or minus 15 milliseconds, I'm gonna donate $420. Whoa! Okay. Woo! So there you go. That's that's what we're doing. All right. Cool. So let's see what Dima wow. has in store next for us. Um, I believe this next start is soft that's ignition. Bucks, babe. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Start yeah, yeah Dima, if you have anything to say, you can. Otherwise, I'm good to go. Yeah, so uh, this, we'll, we'll thank the charters, uh, everybody who created the content at the end of the run. Uh, this is, again, all a grassroots game. This is a grassroots tutorial. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it's a tutorial for tech. The uh, Check out the bottom of the screen for captions, and the, the couch will run you through the rest. Yep. So here we go. Yep, this is Soft Ignition, uh, tech tutorial. It was um, composed, and the chart was written by the same person yep, as and, the song. Yep. Yes, and I think, yep, we're good to go. And I think the one thing I want to express is that a lot of the entire like community creates the content themselves. Mm -hmm. And because of that, now we can get really creative with the types of patterns that you get to use. So now there's like this whole vocabulary. For example, brackets, uh, Dima's actually angling his feet diagonally to hit two notes at the same time. Um, that can actually be used to hit even three or four notes at the same time. Yeah, because uh, the old logic was if there's two arrows, you gotta jump. You gotta yep. jump, but you don't do that. Not true anymore. Yep. Here are double taps, which are when you hit two of the same note really fast on the same foot. Yep. Double steps are when you hit two different feet with the same foot. Jacks, uh, it's just anytime you hit more than two notes with the same foot. And we call them that because they, they make your foot move like a jackhammer. Right. Step jumps here are just any time that you're moving kind of in and out of normal notes and, and jumps. And here we get a, a little break from being technical. This is just a stream, which is a continuous run of 16th notes. Typically, there's nothing complex about it other than the, the density. Crossovers here, which are actually a staple to tech, 
or any time that you're turning your body to hit the left arrow with your right foot or the right arrow with your left foot. Flams here are, they're almost like jumps, but the, the note is just displaced a little bit, so you get a little grace note that happens beforehand. Mm -hmm. yep. Foot switches are also a modern tech staple. Uh, you see two notes in a row that are on the up or down arrow, and it looks like it should be a double tap or a jack, but they call it a foot switch because you can actually alternate your feet on the up and the down arrow. Side switches are actually the same as foot switches, but on the left and right arrow, where a crossover leads you into it. And then bursts are a little bit vague, but it's just any time that there's a series of notes that's pretty fast relative to the normal BPM of the song. And then there's a little cute tech at the end called a hold switch, um, which takes advantage of the fact that the game doesn't drop a hold note immediately when you let go of it. So you kind of let your foot go over the hold and then come back onto the hold with the opposite foot. Um, so that was a lot, you know, I'm not gonna test you guys on this at the end or anything. <laughs> there will be a pop quiz! There will not be a pop quiz. Um, this is just to show off what I like to call the vocabulary of tech. And what's gonna happen is uh, step artists really like to use and mix and match different combinations of this. And I would say, honestly, if you want to see like a mind-melting combination of these, um, there is an incentive to play some stuff that really, really pushes the limits. One of them is Matt Silver, which is one of Demo's uh, staple charts. Iconic, maybe even infamous. Infamous uh, is a good word for infamous it. Infamous is a great word for it. Definitely phonetic. It's <laughs> so if you wanna if you wanna see him play Matt Silver, definitely uh, get those donations in. Uh, speaking of donations, Game of Chow, you wanna read a few? Oh, I got you all kinds of covered. Uh, let's take Viva Lamu here with a fifty dollar donation. ITC project manager Viva Lamu here. Incredibly excited Ooh. to see the Stepmania technical showcase. It's truly fantastic how far the scene has come in the past few years, especially thanks to people like Demo and other leaders in our grassroots community. In addition to this donation, I'll be donating $20 for every quad star Demo gets during the set and $50 for any quince in the set. Let's show everyone what we have to offer and make that disco pop. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Love you, man. Yep. All right. Yep, so the next shot we have is Kill the Beat. Yeah. We're going up in difficulty. Yeah, this is, this is a, the difficulty nine is usually canonically where Step Mania Tech enters expert territory. So um, this, we just saw a tutorial. This song is going to go deep on one type of tech. I'll let the couch kind of talk about that as I'm playing. So here we go with Kill the Beat. Go. Yeah, Oliver, what do you have to say about crossovers in this? So let's talk about what it means to write a good chart. So in the in the tech world, hang on, we gotta we gotta change our speed back. Change the speed <laughs> so the game allows you to adjust the speed of the arrows, and players prefer to read it faster versus slower. So just to space out the yeah. notes. Right. Yep. Yeah. 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 So crossovers. Yeah. So let's talk about crossovers for a minute. So remember from the last song that a crossover is when you hit the right arrow with your left foot, or vice versa. So what happens if you leave the player situated in that position where they're turned? What happens with the next note? Which, no, which, er, which foot should they use to hit the next arrow? So there's a, a sort of concept of trust with chart writing, the chart creator to the chart player, right? You have to write the chart in a way that the player knows that if they perform the intended technique, they'll be rewarded for it. They'll be able to face the screen again or the tech will resolve. Yeah, we can actually see here that Demo's turning his body a lot, but still feels very comfortable and very flowy, right? Yep. And it's not affecting his ability to time the chart at all, either. Yep. So this chart does a lot of interesting things where it chains crossovers together. You don't get to face the screen again until you're done with the crossover pattern. Crossovers are great. I think it's you know the most fundamental technique that you learn, not just in Step Mania, but just in any rhythm game that requires a pad. And yeah, like there's definitely a concept of trust. The step artists are very intentional about the fact that if they turn your body one way, they're gonna give you the opposite pattern to spin your body back. And a lot of it just makes it, you know, even though crossovers can be hard, it can be very flowy and very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I, like as a, if you're writing the chart, you could right? like as a gimmick. Yes. You could make it harder by turning the, the guy one way and then putting an arrow where it's awkward for them to reach it, but that doesn't feel good. And right. when you're making step starts, it's not just about you know, adding difficulty, it's about where does that difficulty come from? You want it to feel fluid. Ooh, right. and, and is it fun to play? Ooh, and do ooh, people want ooh. to play it, right? And a lot of this is the pattern resolutions just make it a lot more fun to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
I love how like on the beat, like the ba -na -na -na, like that's like when you're crossing over. Like exactly. I feel like that. And it exactly. accents the music it accents very well. It, yes. Yeah. Yes. It helps you feel more like you're playing some sort of like instrument or you're conducting like the motion of the song a little bit better. Yep. So what's really interesting there is like, I totally lost my place because I was trying to do all the crossovers. In a normal competitive setting, this song's tempo is so slow that I would actually double step everything. Mm -hmm. So if you remember from the beginning what a double step is, it's way easier to do all the eighth notes as double steps instead of doing all the crossovers. But this chart really emphasizes the technique, so that's what we're showing off. <laughs> yeah, eventually but, we'll get the charts where the crossovers are so fast that double stepping is actually harder than you, yeah. you have yeah, to doing the turns. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, uh, so we're gonna go into the next song. The next song is One Difficulty Higher, it's a 10. And this one really introduces uh, crossovers plus a lot of other stuff. And up next we have shoes. What are the arrow colors anyways? What are the arrow colors? We'll, we'll see the real difficulty of this yep. when, we, when we get into yeah. it. Yeah. This one's good to explain in context, I think. Yeah. I would um, say uh, this chart is my nemesis. It's a very polarizing chart in the community. This is, is it? very difficult. Yes. Um, I would say this chart is my nemesis. Something that you may have noticed is that there are different colors on the notes, and the notes, the color, the note colors represent the different uh, divisions of the beat that there are right. relative to the beat, right? So, red notes are quarter notes, which are on the downbeat. Blue notes are eighth notes, which are between the downbeats, and then they just kind of divide further from there. Purple notes represent triplet based rhythms. Um, but the thing is, there's a slang in the community. We like to call this a Skittles chart because there's so many different colors that it makes you taste the rainbow. Yeah. And I'm seeing a lot of teal. <laughs> That's what, there's a lot of Which teal. Which is everything Sweet. in between, yep. right? Like something right. super swung. So look at this free form rhythm section. Yeah. Tell, how would you even go about timing a section like this? I don't. It's funny yeah. because, you know. I'm when, bad at this part. I feel like when I, when I, when I play charts like this in whatever rhythm game, you almost start playing them almost more visually. Yeah. Where you're like, yeah, yeah, alright, yeah. the arrows are just coming and I'm just stepping on them and they right. might not go to the beat very well at all. However, the, the vertical distance of these arrows is still reflects the distance in time between them, right? So if you're a good player, you might just focus on the spacing mm -hmm. and use that to time your steps instead of trying to focus on what color they are. Yeah. I, I come from a very musical background and I would say that if you were trying to notate this on a piece of sheet music, you oh cannot. God. You just can't. You just oh can't do it. It's all those little extra lines. Yeah. But it's not throwing Demo off that much, right? Yeah, still holding only eight excellence. Only eight excellence. Yeah. Only 2.5 frame window. Yep, yeah, just one miss, but still keeping time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, at this level, usually getting a miss is more just like a form error rather than timing error. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If it was just like barely yeah. in the wrong place, you didn't trigger some electronics. Yeah. 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 So I guarantee when we look at the results screen, just like these guys are saying, that was a held miss. I wear size 12 shoes, so my foot, my toe was just on the left arrow, uh, and I couldn't trigger it again, so I got a miss. Yep. If like you look the at game, you look at the... it was down the whole time. Right. Oh, was it? Oh, I just maybe I just missed the arrow. Think, Sometimes that happens. It's true. Sometimes I miss the arrows, but you know. But if you look at the scatter plot, so we have this nice scatter plot feature in the graph. I think that feature is so, so sick. You can tell that he wasn't off time in that section. He just happened to step too lightly for one one single arrow, and the rest yeah. of them were blue fantastics there. All around that vertical red line are just blue dots. Yep. Because yep. you, if it was like way off, you'd see a dot just out in the middle of nowhere. Right. Exactly, don't. yeah. yeah. Or if you're like starting to get off time, they might creep into the white and the gold and the green, but not here. Yeah, this, this kind of score on the spot is crazy. I've never seen 8 excellence on my screen in my life. I get 8 excellence before I start the song. <laughs> I probably got 27 White Fantastics in the first 25%. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll finish with like 80. Should we talk about Club Fantastic a little bit? Because this is another Club Fantastic <laughs> song. Tell me about Club Fantastic. So Club Fantastic is a free to download, DRM free collection of songs with art and steps contributed by the community. Uh, what else is there to say about it? It comes with a it comes with a package installer for Stub Media. Yep. So it's super easy to set up. Yep. You just download one thing. Yep. Or if you play the game through an engine called ITG Mania, which yep. is at itgmania.com, the Club Fantastic songs come pre-installed with that as well. Mm. Yep. All right. Uh, the next song we're going up a difficulty again. It's an eleven, um, and this is uh, an interesting new way, I think, of making charts for this community, which is, again, Semenya Tech. 
we got some influence from not ITG. So uh, if you remember that run with Spooty, it's that world crossed with our world. This is the result. So let's see what happens. Yeah, Top, I want to hear you talk about Gemini because I feel like I actually I do, don't play. I do I don't love play talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about game design for Step Mania, right? So there's a lot of knobs you can pull and turn and twist when you construct a chart, right? You're not only limited anymore to where you place the steps and to what rhythms, but what else happens within the game engine, right? Mm -hmm. So you can make the arrows briefly, like, if you want to accent some part of the music, you can make them, like, flash white briefly or adjust the position. Or the arrows make, can make, spin. Make, make them do, like, cute little movements here and there. To, like, and it just makes it that much more immersive, right? Make little ghosts come out of the background. If you want to do that, too, yeah. you can do that. But you also don't want to make it a difficult experience for the player, unless that's your goal, and that's what the mods community is about, like yeah. that specific challenge of making it visually more difficult. These, in the, in the, in the as they're known as tech mods charts, it's just like an extra little, like a spice that you can sprinkle on a chart, yeah. right? And so the, the mods community over at Not ITG and the techniques-oriented community have a lot of overlap because they like to know how to write very well-constructed charts. They refer them to having good posture, I think is the term. And we like to have a little bit of extra spice in our charts. So this is a really good example of that. Yeah, we were talking earlier about how step charting is a form of art where you create expression through movement. And I think Tech Mods now expands that expression through visual arts. Yeah. It's funny because yeah. like, I feel like at the beginning, even things like BPM gimmicks, you know, were like, there's like a dramatic part of a song, a drop, and like, right. you know, it slows down. Yeah. And it doesn't actually influence what the player is doing physically, but visually it's, you know. Speaking of compelling. influencing visually, there's a section coming up here that may look extremely difficult to parse, but watch how Demo handles it. Whoa, what's going on? Don't worry, guys, your streams are running normally. Yep, this is not a bitrate issue. Yes. Notice the blue and white bar in the middle of that screen where the judgment used to be, though. Demo is still getting blue and white fantastics in this section. So because Stephania is a full-featured game engine, you have access to a lot of like game engine-style features, one of which is to take the texture of the screen, shrink it, and re-enlarge it so it becomes pixelated. And because the music at that point was like chiptune, 8-bit styled, it helps bring that out right. in the music as well. It makes it more immersive, you know. Look at this score. <laughs> Woo! What? It's my best score. Wow. That's your That's best goal? That's a new PB, baby! Two excellence. 13 is a new PB. World record? No, it's big one. No, my PB. Your my PB. PB. In, in terms of non-blue fantastics. Did you break it? It looked a little broken for a minute there. It did look a little broken. Quick selfie, quick selfie. All right, let's go! <laughs> Wait, chat, chat, chat. Close to the camera, chat. We're taking a selfie. Let's go. Nice, nice. Pose, nice. Yeah, 13 points. We have time for a couple more donations here, I think. I got plenty of them coming. Quick update on that Stepmania incentive for the four site read bonus charts. We are now over $25,000 out of the 40000 to get that. Y'all, let's go. And there are more incentives yet to come once we meet that. I see a $5 donation train rolling. Let's keep that train going. Shawnee donated $5, said $5 train. Choo, choo. Snaily Syrup also sent him $5. Don't need to tell me twice. Here's my $5. Uh, Magic in the Dark sent him $5. Five bucks for a PS5 and more Step Mania? Sign me up. Yes, reminder, $5 donation right now. Get you in to win the PS5. Quinsley sent in $50. $50 for 10 PS5s? Quinsley, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's not how it works. But thank you so much for that donation and keep them coming. So if you want to see Demo read charts that he's never seen before, has no idea what kind of steps are going to be in it. That's what that incentive is for. I promise, at the top level, nobody is memorizing these charts. You know, yeah. You, you might, might recognize you might know, a little like, section. Yeah, you might know what's going on in it. Like, I have a, a vague idea in your mind of, like, what was there. Like, you know it's a bracket chart. But you know you, it's a whatever. If, if you want to put Demo through the gauntlet to play... Yeah, don't super, get harder for it. Super hard chart that he's never seen Up before. Charts that I've never seen before. Team block rating. Definitely get those donations in to get that incentive. Our next song is a level 12. We're up again, plus one again. This is a song that I authored um, with another friend, ITG Alex. And um, 
The song itself is a collab between the illustrious T. Lopez and the cool Dylan James. And it's from Club Fantastic once again, so I hope you enjoy. If you have any uh, gardening-related emojis or gardening tips just in general, now would be a good time to drop them in chat. This song is about gardening. This song is definitely about the items that you break in The Legend of Zelda. Yes. Absolutely. It's also about those things that like control sensitivity. The potentiometer. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, if you said pot in the melee community, that's definitely the first thing people think of. Correct, yes. I hate when my pot is misaligned. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, what do you have to say about the, what are like the, the main themes of this chart? What makes it so difficult? There's a lot of like small visual tweaks that are being done to it. Like nothing as extreme as the last song, but you'll notice that we'll Ooh, look at that it pauses for a moment and then moves on. There's a lot of just various techniques that you might have noticed from the tutorial are starting to blend together now. You have foot switches and side switches. You have a couple brackets here. There's a lot of crossovers coming up. There's a fun little accent here for the vocal sample so you can identify. Mm -hmm. I really like how the step author is using mines, which are those like, you know, those the orbs, circles, which the are orbs, not right? supposed to press, to, right. to indicate to the player, hey, this is when you should foot switch. That's like a cool little bit of communication almost in the chart with the player. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it's there for. And something I'm noticing too is that despite the barrage of techniques that are coming Demo's way, his timing is not sacrificed at all. He still hasn't got anything but fantastic yet. Ooh. Oh, man. So here's the problem. When you let really good players write their own charts, they make some really hard charts. And I hope you're ready for this next section to come up, which has everything else and bursts. Yep, this next section has all 30 second notes at one closing. With brackets and foot switches. Oh my god. What in the world? Not a single excellent in that. It's wild to be able to watch this, like in person or online. This is insanely oh, high level play. One mistake. That was all my fault. One mistake. It was right after the my, one. You, it was the one gimmick arrow. Those bursts are at 16 notes a second. Gimmick arrow! Why did I put you there? <laughs> was it that was your was fault. That Alex. No. Sometimes when uh, when there's you know all fantastics except for one straight error, we are they call that. 19 and change, or <laughs> some of us just like to call that a quad because we knew we could have hit that one note anyways. Mm. We'll get it later. Yeah. We'll just gloss over it. We'll, we'll, it, we'll figure it out. You can best, best, best of some of the best. Let's run it back another time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, to see burst at <laughs> almost 17 notes a second and to still have that level of control and timing is very, very hard. That's definitely like a top tier kind of skill set. It's at the point where you can't just like, you don't only use your brain power to parse it, you have to also be physically capable of doing that thing with your feet. And to read the foot switches mm -hmm. and the brackets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think my favorite thing spectating that is just like hearing the rhythm that he's making with his feet. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. It's, just set, it's, it's a drum track. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, let's do another donation, Game and Shout. Absolutely. So y'all know, we just crossed $1.4 million for the marathon. Wow. These donations keep coming in. Keep the train moving. Just past $28,000 on that ad for sight read, bonus charts, incentives, and more awesome stuff to come. Mr. Mosty Toasty sent in $25. I'll take five of your finest cars on the $5 donation train, my good conductor. I've also got, uh, what was this? He who am is are myself sent in $150. Demo, you are an inspiration. I found the ITG community through Spooty's GDQ so Showcase in January, and you, along with everyone else, have pushed me to new limits every day. Since I started, I've lost 70 pounds, and that's only Whoa. secondary to what I can do now and all of the friends I've made along the way. Thank you for all you do for the community at large. Thank you so much. You're gonna make me emotional. Um... That means the world. Thank you so much for sharing that. We appreciate you. Stick around. Yep. Gotta rub the tears out of your eyes because the next song is even harder. The next song will make me cry um, because it's a 13 and we're gonna be hovering around 13 and harder for the rest of the run. So this is about as hard as it gets for the main meta of play. I would not say there's a lot of people getting 99s on songs like I'm about to play right now. It's content for the 1%. Correct. Yes. Great way to think about it. It's the coastal elite of us. 
<laughs> it's the kind of stuff that would show up in head-to-head -head tournaments at the in the finals rounds. Let me be clear too. The screen says 13. There's a hefty portion of people in the community that would even go as far as calling this a 14. And honestly, if it was labeled a 14, I wouldn't bat an eye. I wouldn't bat an eye. Yeah, at this level, it's really pushing your physical limits. As if reading the tech and parsing it and executing it wasn't enough already. Yeah, like how do you preserve your timing, like a good subframe perfect timing when you're tired? Yeah, something I have a really big issue with is that when I'm fatigued, my brain muscles slow down and I can't process mm -hmm. things as fast. So to be able to juggle all of those responsibilities all at once and, you know, construct it into one run is really, really demanding. It's, a, it's a lot. That's yeah. kind of why I'm happy we got like that shout out. Like that, it, it should be said that the physical component is awesome. Like the fact that this game is, is also just really good for you. Yeah, and the uh, way- You will be in good shape. The only way you can train stamina is you play more. Yes. Did yeah. you recently get a pad? Yeah. I did, yeah. And uh, it's been wonders for my cardio. Do you feel like your cardio is getting better more and more? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So this has a lot of very tricky interleave, foot switches, crossovers, everything you can think of. Yeah, these 30 second note bursts are even faster than the last song. 21 notes a second per burst. 21! 21. 50 milliseconds apart. Yeah, man, parsing between these 30 second bursts and the 24th bursts is actually very tough to discern. Wow, wow. Still holding up wow, really wow. well, though. And don't be fooled by this break, it doesn't last long. It never does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, another thing that separates Demo from maybe intermediate level players is that he's able to put full effort through this song, mm. and that's really just like, just building stamina, right? Yeah. We right. haven't really talked about the life bar too much yet. It's, it's pretty strict. If you get 10 misses in a row, it will drain from complete to empty, and you'll right. fail the song. But it's not as hard to fudge the patterns enough to pass with life bar as you might think, but you will lose a lot of like the good timing out of it. Yeah. And in tournaments, you want as best timing as you could possibly have. And you need the stamina to keep your timing up. Right. So we're about to go into the ending, which is definitely the bulk of the difficulty. Just have a scary little burst there just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, but something I was saying earlier too, it's like when you start getting tired, I think you start to slur the rhythms and things start to yeah. blend a little bit. Oh yeah. But here, like, if, especially, I don't know if you can hear it on the stream, but in person, you can hear that every step is so crisp, even though, like, this would exhaust 99% of the players. Yeah. I also want to draw your attention to the mid-right side of the game screen, where you can see the global leaderboard for this song. Second place. Second place. Only by probably one or two arrow mistakes, though. That's a tiny difference. 99.91 for a best. Wow. Insane. That chart is strenuous. <laughs> He's got half a run more of charts at this caliber to play, though. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more if the incentives are met. The crazy thing was like, that was so that was the global leaderboard. That was right. the global leaderboard. And you see, like, because I think it was like, yeah, there. <laughs> There's like only so many 98s. Or 99, no, sorry, 99s. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a really cool feature, even tracking. Did you ever remember like the date? Like, ah, yes, May 1st. I'm getting it. <laughs> Did you ever remember the date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That was during the event that Viva Lamu, who donated Vincent, we got TT, Jewess, and Jeff Jones. Yeah. 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 Yeah is like the climax of the event. Like That's we were going it. hard like at the end, so. End game. Uh, yeah. And you can find out more about that, itc.dance. All right, next 13. Oh my God, uh. symbolic. Look, the community uh. members know that if this is a demo run, it's gonna have symbolic in it. Real quick, we <laughs> I will say 30K like 30K on the side recharts. 30K! Amazing! Let's go. Only 10K more. 10K more. Thank you, everyone! Donate so more money to make him suffer. <laughs> I will say what I really like about this song and this chart is like, because the song is very like incremental, right? It's like, here's this beat, and then I'm going to add one thing to it. I'm going to add one thing to it. And the chart kind of functions the same way. It just gets harder and harder. And harder. Yeah. And harder. And, and harder. Let's go, boys. Yep. So let's start out with the very, like, the most basic pattern that this chart tries to introduce. So you're presented with a an arrow and a freeze, which is a, an arrow with a tail. You have to 
use the foot that's not on the arrow with the freeze and kick the foot that is on the arrow with the freeze out of the way in order to be able to hit that as the chart writer intended. That's, is there a name for that? Not on its own. We kind of refer to it as like a double step and foot switch, like combine the combined. ideas. Yeah. yeah. So you double step one foot to switch into the other. And as the song moves on, we start to introduce extra techniques around it. We have brackets. It's just like Twelve said, it starts to layer in things kind of each phrase, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. We have but some that, crossovers. That, basic, that yeah. basic thing remains. Yeah, before we get into the end, which we really just want to pay attention to, Demo is just like so good at this chart, it's unreal. I think he's known for playing this chart a lot, to be honest. For the online tournament that he was talking about that I ran earlier, um, there's only one person that even came close to touching his score, and even like the top 16 players in the world were not even coming close to it. So, yeah, he's definitely kind of famous in the community for being particularly yeah. good at this chart. It's not as physical as the last one, but it's definitely like it's all in your brain, and it's you still so have to be able to confusing. execute. It. Yeah, this ending is impossible. Tell, I ranked 26 in the world, and I don't know how to read this. I can't do it. Well, we're about to watch it happen, so. So here's the hardest chunk coming in now. Imagine tapping this out on your keyboard or some imaginary pad with two fingers, because you have two feet. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Something I do wrong a lot is on those up and down foot switches that are like four notes long. I start them on the wrong foot, and then I'm just, mm. I'm just screwed. What uh, in the world? Nine white? Call 911 now. Call 99.9%. Wow. How? Nine white, I think, matches the second place score that people had three months to accumulate their best score. And Demo just got it in one shot. I mean, I've seen you play that chart a bunch of times, and I think that's the best I've seen you score on it. I watched his actual best on this, which is two whites. Gee. Yeah. Two. Two and no mistakes. Breaks. Like I said before, we call this still four we call mistakes. This, we call this nine and change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's nine and change. So yeah, care about two the nine. Change. Yeah. What in the world? Sure? What's your heart rate, Diva? Yeah, how's your heart rate doing? It, it definitely peaked at 190. <laughs> Yo, know, chat. What is what did my heart rate peak at? You tell us. You tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do we, we want to get? What do you think the heart rate peaked at? <laughs> <laughs> do we want to get another uh, donation in to give Demo a breather after that? Oh, I got plenty for you here. That hype train is still rolling. Uh, Herminator sent in fifty dollars. Did I hear five or fifty dollar hype train? Yeah, well. Uh, Look sent in twenty five dollars. Here's to chasing down and stepping towards one point five million dollars raised. We're at one point four oh six now. Keep Let's it go. coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also up over thirty one thousand dollars on the site read charts incentive. Uh, let's see. I've got five dollars here from Carly HB. So pumped for the Stepmania showcase. Let's get those bonus charts. And he ten sent in twenty five dollars. Big ups to my Bay Area dance game pals. Wild to see the intersection of my friends with an iconic melee commentator with so much rhythm game lore. Yo, shout out to two and a half South Asians. <laughs> Thank you, Heaton. Love you, buddy. All right. Um, Timo, you feeling ready for the next song? Yeah, the next song is like deep in C, but a little different, I guess. It's unique. <laughs> So actually, normally, a it's lot of step artists look for music and then the charts emerge from that. Mm. This is the opposite, I feel like. Uh, the step artist, Nav, the musical alias Stepper's Paradox, had a chart idea that they wanted to represent, and I think the music emerged out of that. I think that's accurate. Yeah. yeah. And I think all I want to say about this is if it was like 20 seconds longer, it'd be a 14. Yes. So, really? Could yeah. be, yeah. And this one is like one of the songs that I think is impossible to play unless you have been playing dance games for a long time. Like this one takes a lot of hours of practice. Your brain needs to expand so much to hit these rhythms. I and mean, you'll see you'll see kind of what the, the theme or the gimmick is yep. of this chart, right? After this, we got our first 14, stay tuned. Oh no. It's only going up from here. <laughs> yeah, so it starts slow, but it ramps up really fast. Oh, yeah. It ramps all over the place, yeah, to be on, honest. On top of being the peak, I would say, of rhythmic timing and difficulty. It's still really fast. It's it, really fast. It's 140 BPM, 30 second notes at that speed are insanely fast. 20 fourths at that speed are also fast. Right, Let's go into this first right. run here. Let's see what's going on. 
yeah, so what's happening here is, um, yeah, so in this chart, there's gonna be a few moments where the song really starts to feel like it slows down or speeds up, but what's happening is the BPM actually stays 140 constant. Mm -hmm. And then what, we're, what the step artist is doing is using kind of different metric modulations and quantizations to simulate the feeling of, you know, speeding up and slowing down. Look, I've never seen 18 whites on this screen at this point in the song. <laughs> And so they're really going to push the limits of slowing down at this run right here. That ramp back up is so cool. I love that feeling. It feels it's, so good. Everything just feels like it's kind of like stretching and compressing. Yeah. And listening to the steps when it's happening just makes it sit so much better too. And like I said, constant 140. This is all rhythmic modulation. Right. Yeah. It's insane how much control you have to have to be able to like cycle between all these rhythms on the fly. With speed. With speed. It's up frame perfect timing. Again. Like I don't want that to slip for people's Six. minds. Six. Six. What? Excellence. That's a PB. No, no. It's gotta be. No it's gotta way be. six is my best. I mean, yes way it is. Yes way. <laughs> yes like, way. You, you, you know the answer to that one. What? Woo! It's a world. It's a new record. Wow. That's that's definitely a PB for sure. Oh man. I get six just like looking at the first run. Oh my god, I tried so hard. Woo! So you need another breather? No. No? Yeah. yeah. One donation. Yeah. One, one donation. One donation. Let's get yeah. some donations in. All right, uh, let's go with a big one here. AG Ken, a former runner, Dance Rush Stardom, Dance Rush Stardom sent in $573. AG Ken here, it's so good to see Game & Shout hosting another Rhythm Game Showcase, and I can't think of anyone better to showcase ITG Step Mania than Demo and everyone on the couch. Welcome to the Rhythm Game GDQ Club. Water is in the fridge. Good luck on your run. Can't wait to see you soon. Let's get some good old ITG. Shout out to the DDR and ITG community. Rhythm Gamers all over. GDQ and shout out to the democracy. <laughs> Let's go, Ichiken. Thank you so much, Ichiken. We love you, man. Also, quick check, we are over $32,000 on that site read incentive and oh, still man. more to come. Keep it coming. We gotta get it, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. This The site read content was made just for this run. Dima hasn't seen it, I haven't even seen it. I, I definitely haven't seen it. I've, I've seen it because I helped coordinate it. <laughs> I, you want to see these charts, they are ridiculous. And the music is really good. I mean, to be honest, like I used to talk with my friends about like the best rhythm gamers in the world. How do they do the first time they see a chart? the first time they play a new song. Like, very rarely do you actually get to see that happen. Uh, and I think- We could that today. Be, we, we could, could today. We could see it. Yeah. I have no idea what Tell Periods put together. Yeah. Um, by the way, I lied. There's one more 13. It's in here because it's fire. So I'm not gonna say anything else. It's such a dope song. From the community once again, Nitro. Thank you so much for the awesome music you make. Let's get it. Takion, we gotta, we gotta talk. Is this really a 13? <laughs> <laughs> Did you look at this chart and you really thought it was a 13? <laughs> Why, why would yeah. you why would you say it's a 13 and not something else? Yeah. Is it because of like just the, there is a ton of tech in this chart. Uh, and no no break from having to think about rhythms either. Cause a lot of it's slug. Mm. I think this is actually a perfect time to start bringing up kind of historically how the, the technical meta has evolved. Back in the day, let's let's talk about brackets for example, right? Mm. Which is, you know, rotating your foot diagonally to hit the left like two arrows at the same time. We used to really just only use that to accent, you know, really, really major hits in a song. But the new school kids, they don't really know about the history, and so they don't play by those rules anymore. And so uh, this is, I think, a great representation of what the modern meta truly looks like. It's very unhinged. They'll throw brackets anywhere, foot switches anywhere. They'll put a thousand crossovers in a song. They just don't care. Mm -hmm. And so this really, really pushes kind of mixing tech together and like using your brain power a lot. Yeah, we like to call it the kitchen sink method of charting. Yeah. But it's, it's always very interesting to see like, we have we have a slow but uh, constant influx of new players and new content creators. And it's interesting to see what they, they, they view the corpus of content that's already out there. And they're like, what do I do to make what's in my head appear good on paper on the game for for players, how can I how can I extend what's already been done or just take it in a whole different direction? This is a really good example of that, I think. Holding 23 whites and three excellence through 18 notes per second verse. You have to get through Nitro's rhythms. 
Nitro is an interesting example. They play a lot of they play a lot of rhythm games. They've also composed and charted for a lot of rhythm games. So they know what makes a rhythm game song in a rhythm game chart. Mm -hmm. Dude, this song just gets me amped up. There's something just like really, you almost like butters high, euphoric feeling of just the steps feeling right, the, the energy is high, listening to the music, you're getting your body working. His body's definitely working. Look at that, look at that crossover, look at that whole body shift. Yeah, no issue on these side switches. And swinging. Hold side switches even. What is that? <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Have we talked about roll till? Rolls are just, they're kind of like holds, but you have to keep tapping them to keep them active. Right. Yeah. You can you can drop a roll by not paying attention to it. Whoa, single digit excellence. That was really, really good. I don't think that's world record, but it's probably close. I mean, wow. 99.8 is like not a score that pops up regularly. Yeah, kind of more community lingo. At the top level, we really like to it's like a, a milestone to hit a single digit, let's say, white count. So we call those single digit whites. Yep. Um, but for really hard stuff, you might not be getting scores like that. So yeah, single digit excellence, single, single digit greats. Yeah, yeah. single even digit like if it's hard enough. Yeah. Yeah, single yeah. digit misses even all accept. Yeah. So such a fun chart. It's Just to Thank you for the chart. Yeah. Do we want to get another donation in? We're gonna need it. Oh, I got you all covered here. We are closing in on thirty-six thousand dollars out of the forty thousand. Go! Moving. Keep that train going. Ashy Cat sent in twenty-five dollars. Five tickets to the five-dollar train. Let's get those spicy blind tracks, chat. Uh, also, blind tracks, blind tracks. Star Rod Kirby eighty-six sent in two hundred and fifty dollars. Let's go, Demo. I'm absolutely starstruck seeing dance games on such a huge stage. From everyone at the dojo, the Bay Area, and the dance game community at large, thanks for being one of the best representatives for Step Mania and ITG as a whole. Thank you so much, Watson. Much love. Another super, super talented rhythm gamer in Star and Kirby. Thank you so much, dude. It means a lot. All right, 14 number one chat. 14. Here we go. From here on out, Demo's actually only selected 14s to play, which is currently the highest level you typically see in tournament play. And you're going to see why it's the highest level that people are expected to perform in a tournament pretty soon. Yeah. I would say at this level, there's no more concessions. At this point, you've learned all the fundamentals. And unfortunately, the only way to get better is you just get better at executing. Yeah, do, there's nothing, do more. There's nothing else to learn. You know, you've, you've hit peak knowledge. Yeah, you just yeah. got to grind it out. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is kind of like the start of where 14s are. This is considered kind of like a, an easier 14, which kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but... It's, it's easier on the brain, it's harder on the physical, like the physicality side of it, I would say. It's very strenuous. Close to a thousand steps, I remember correctly. Yeah, and this style charting also very kitchen sink, right? Yeah. Every technique mixed in every possible way you could imagine. Every sound accented, every, every phrase meant to do the player like a certain way. Love this triplet rhythm. Feels Probably so my favorite part of the song. Feels so good. Yeah. Tulsa, how do you feel like watching this? Do you feel like you can get to this level, or are you? I you yeah. To? It's funny because I think the most the, the, the most impressive thing, like you kind of hit on earlier, is how even when the difficulty ramps up this much, he's still putting so much intent into the timing. Guys, the steps um, here are so loud. Yeah. Like, I would get so tired so quickly, and I would be hitting with these arrows, like, in the most lazy way. You know? Like, just to stay afloat, stay alive. And yet, like, 5% or less of the steps are outside that subframe perfect window right now. Right. Like, that's a lot of work. Yeah, flip switches on these holds. And some crossovers. Like, you got twist. Twist at 175 BPM. Dude, those brackets feel so good with the song. Mm -hmm. And to anybody out there that feels like they might not be able to reach this, you know, top level tier of play, it just comes with practice. You play regularly, there's definitely a lot of step authors that make charts as low as ones, and you just kind of ramp up. Just have fun with it, find something you like to play, just go for it. And, you know, you mentioned some of these packs earlier for people who want to get started, um, and those packs will have easier stuff as well. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't either. always have to play the expert charts. True. And there's even a focus these days on like introducing techniques in easier charts to get used to them in a less intimidating setting as well. Because we started to understand that like people can't just jump in and like 
hit the ground running, they gotta learn how to execute a foot switch in an efficient way. Ooh, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good run. A perfect score. 99.5. Yeah, man. That's another $75, is it? From y'all? Yeah. I what, haven't even been counting. counting. I haven't been counting. No, I haven't, I haven't been, been counting. counting. You're performing yourself out of money. Yeah. Fortunately, the game is counting for us. Yeah. Yeah. That song comes with a free cramp. <laughs> we'll Do we want to go? We'll take a cramp to go, please. Dima, are you ready to go again, or should we get a donation readout? Donation, baby. Let's get a donation readout. We are over thirty-eight thousand dollars now out of the forty thousand so to get close. those four so site so read bonus charts in, and there is more to come after that. Once we hit that, please keep them coming. JT Vandenbree sent in $500. You know Omid is the best. You're in for a hell of a show. Shout out to IHYD and the SoCal ITG OGs. Also, go oh, sorry, go ahead. This one's one of my grooves right there. Shout out to one of my grooves and JT. Thank you. Come on, give me a shout. That's awesome. Uh, Rob G023 sent in $50. 10 tickets for the hype train. Always happy to donate to a great cause. Let's get that SMW special world added to the shuffler. Yes, we have lots of great incentives on it. Open gamesdonequick.com slash donate. Click on the add incentive button. Make your money work to make this marathon. Back to field. Yeah, this chart's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, chat, this chart looks like it should only be done on keyboard. Yeah. And that's all I really want to say about it. I'm gonna get so tired playing this. I'm gonna be focusing. Y'all can be laughing at this because it's just, it just looks, it looks dumb. Like it just, I mean, have fun. I, I won't be. 190 also just like, I don't know, anecdotally, personally, 190 is like kind of the borderline of a speed where I feel like, I, I don't know, it, 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 this is fast. It is fast. You know what I mean? Like, even if it was a different rhythm, like 2DX or something, 190 is fast. 190 is very fast. Even just comboing, right? Let alone right. trying to time it. What 190 is the speed at which, like, you know, it could just be straight streams, and it would still be pretty hard. But oh, there yeah. are going to be complicated rhythms on top of that, uh, which is just like that. Yeah, look, the theme of this chart is hitting two notes with one foot. And this one really overdoes it. I'd say it does about the right amount. I don't like, know about that. I, the artist is the one who composed the song as well. So I mean, they made it to they made it to do this. They had a vision. Yeah, yep. yeah they had a vision. Yeah. Yeah. If you had showed this chart to me ten years ago when like, I was first getting into the technical side of things, I would have laughed at it, called it impossible, and then dismissed it. I would have turned off the game. Yep. But now we 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 this stuff shows up in tournaments. We have to get good at it. Wow. That's, that's insane. Definitely a lot of practice. whites. The timing is ridiculous yeah. here. And I can't believe this is considered the break. Yeah. Why is the break so hard? Look, three but notes three, at the same time? Three. Well, he's got two feet. Yeah. How does... Yeah. See, angle, angle at least one foot. Yeah, so but the other two of them, you still have to decide which, one, like, which two you're going to combine on the fly. Fortunately, the game credits you with combo for every one of the notes. They should. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there. You got 10 seconds left on the song. Yeah. 23 white gold. Yeah. Nice. 24 Man. white fantastics. Yeah, baby. <sighs> yeah, I think those misses maybe. I think I think the pad gods are not listening to us very yeah. closely right now. Probably left arrow, right? Yep. Yeah, there's definitely left like, arrow. Especially having a pad at home, there's definitely sometimes some maintenance you have to do. Mm. Look, we're here. I can hear the steps. I know that they're in time. You can pull up the foot cam. You can see yep. that the Yeah, you can, you can definitely... trace the scatter plot. You'd be like, there are blues around it. Blue yeah. fantastics. I don't know what. <laughs> it, ha it happens sometimes. It's part of running yeah. the game. It's like it's like having a run that dies at a certain point, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, actually, I mean, like, vaguely, like, reassuring almost that he gets tired. 
Yes. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm tired. I'm like, okay, cool. He bleeds. It's like, yeah, yes. all right, all right. Yes. You're not just, you know, I don't know. Maybe he's a robot. <laughs> These charts are hard for everybody, it turns out. It's a showcase! <laughs> Humbling. Yeah. Humbling. Yeah. Humbling. You want to have a pad maintenance donation if we can? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got lots of donations. I got $750 left before we hit that uh, site read bonus charts incentive. Oh, Under man. a thousand to in. go. Oh, man. Please make it happen. Uh, WRSW sent in $5.73. Hey, AGDQ 2023. I hope you liked my song, Soft Ignition. Put this towards the technical site read incentive. We haven't missed an incentive to put more Step Many at a GDQ before, and we are not missing one now. Take us to the other side, Twitch chat. <laughs> I've also Great got. Reference. I've also got D Ron with fifty-seven dollars and thirty cents. Ooh, hey, hey, Demo, a real dog here. It's so exciting <laughs> to get to see you on GDQ, sharing Step Mania with such a wide audience. You are a beacon of the community, and we are so lucky to have you. Love you, man, and let's see that site read content. By the way, hope to see Dog Bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dog Bus is a song in a, in a popular pack, but fortunately due to content, we can't play it. But D-Ron, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much for the kind words and donations. Um, we got our last official song of the run. So we could theoretically, I guess, call time when it ends, but uh, let's get that incentive going. So here's the last song. It's called Flying Castle. Hope you had enjoyed this run as much as we have. Yeah, I think this like oh. brings everything together, right? Yeah, tell me about this. Everything. Everything all at once. Everything we talked about today, yeah. right? That castle do be flying though. This song sounds hard. It's oh, that sounds so yeah, well. But Flying Castle is technique. It's stamina. It's speed. It's even the tech mods that we talked yeah, about with the, the visual effects are there. Oh, wow. yep. okay. Yeah. We haven't seen those in a while, so yeah, the only one yeah. we had was, was Gemini. GDQ, if you tabbed out of the window for a minute to do something else, you want to be watching this chart. This is going to do all sorts of things. Let's get the 99. Let's go. That's the goal, 99, let's go. He's only 99 at once, but it could happen again, right now. And there we go, the visual effects yeah. are already going off. Do you feel, when the arrows bounce like that, does it make it harder to time? In your yes. yes. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, oh yeah. But they're never, if it's a well-constructed chart, they are never unfair in the amount of distraction that they're trying to provide. Like, they might grow briefly, but they'll shrink back to a level where you can, like, read them normally again. Right. If they flash white for a moment, they'll go back to being colored again so that you can read the rhythms off of them. If they turn around, you'll still know which lane that they were in, and you can deduce what you need to off of that. I cannot overstate how difficult it is to play charts when the colors turn white. I depend on the note colors so much to know when to time things. Mm. And when the colors turn white, I'm just so lost. I would say that this chart is like something that I consider myself good at. And I still like, I 90% this on a good day. A 99 is unfathomable, maybe. And once again, like I said, like I just can't believe that this is the easy part. This compared to Puzzle's job, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, definitely yeah. considered the easy part. An extended bracket tap. Those yeah, are weird. That's crazy. Hold the hold the freeze down, but lift just enough so you can use the same foot to hit other notes that are happening at the same time. Yeah, you keep the hold on your toes and then and you use hit your the heel. other one with yeah. your heels. Yeah. Right. It's kinda of like you have four feet all of a sudden. Yeah. That technique is kind of a, an extension of brackets. Yeah. yeah. Used to be frowned on by the community, and then we started building it in the charts. Now we do it on purpose. Yep. I love like the little the bounces. Bounce. The bounces. Yeah. This is easily the hardest part of the chart to me. Like the arrow spinning. Up and down are already like hard to keep track of, and then when they're spinning, you still have to remember. Uh. Yeah, when the notes spin, you don't actually have to change the arrow that you hit. Full combo? Full combo? Full combo? Oh. What? Oh. PB. PB, for sure. Oh my 99 god. 99 four. Eight and change in one shot? Oh my. Are and you, are you most seeing Most of those right grades and excellence came from one little part. Also, I think that's time. Song. That is time. time. That's time. Yeah. If, you, if you want time, that's time. But I'm, I'm sorry, I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can take a moment. I got some news if you got one. 
Let's what, hear it. What might that news be? Don't uh, don't get too stuck on that being time. You got to leave four more tracks to go. We hit forty thousand dollars, and we got oh, the sight read go! bonus charts in the run. Now, I want to add, like I promised, there was more to come, and more has now been revealed. For ten thousand dollars, we now have an incentive just opened up to add Matt Silver to the expo. $10,000, and it looks like we've got about four tracks left to do it. So, chat, audience, if you want to see Demo doing Matt Silver, gamesdonequick.com slash donate. Click on add incentive. Make it happen. We can make this last a little longer. I'm counting on you. I feel like we need Matt Silver. We need Matt Silver. I don't think we it's a Demo run without <laughs> Matt Silver. Remember what I said earlier about the really good players writing the really hard charts? Demo that wrote is that. Matt Silver. Yeah. That is Matt Silver. There are things in that chart that were never done up until that point in a chart before. Yeah, there are Because only, they were considered impossible. There are only two things that are necessary in a demo run, and that is symbolic, and the mm. other one <laughs> is Matt Silver. Are you as, as much hot, of a hot as well? Is he as much of a specialist in terms of playing Matt Silver as he is with symbolic? Yes. I would think so, yeah. Yes. Okay. There's only one other person that's mastered it even close to that level, which I would say is CMMF. Yep. Getting a full combo oh, yeah. on that. The yeah, the world record holder is <laughs> the MMF. But there's there's a video on YouTube of like a dozen people trying it and failing and like, getting miserably. frustrated and, and like slowing it down so they can work out what they're actually supposed to do and like ghost stepping it out like and being angry and out. shouting expletives. It's so funny. And I was one of those people. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like I can kind of see it, but I can't do the thing. I just <laughs> knew better than to play it, and I just avoid it. So we're gonna um, set up the side reads now. Um, I have not, I don't know who made these steps. I don't know what songs they are, what the titles of the songs are, who the artists are. I've, I literally don't know anything about what we're about to see other than Telperion managed the commissions and there are four of them. They were made this week. That's all I know. And they're also around difficulty 13, 14. That's literally all I know. They max out of 14. So if you've ever, like, uh, like Tove said earlier, if you've ever wanted to see a Top Rhythm Gamer sight read, aka music, you know, when you look at things for the first time, uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're gonna be doing. So yep. uh, I'll let, I'll let tell, tell me what to do. So I'm yeah. gonna just uh, open the folder and we'll, we'll go through. Yep, so site read tournaments are also a pretty common thing in the community. You've heard of the mod site read tournaments that uh, Taranuk and company run that are more, mostly themed around mods, but lately there's also been a resurgence of technical SRTs. There was one run in <laughs> Illinois in the fall, and I've modeled the appearance of these site reads roughly based off of that. So there are some things to notice here. Number one, you don't see the title of the song, you don't see the artist. Preview there, music? You don't see who stepped it. There's no preview music. Mm. There's some, nothing. You get yeah. nothing. There is there's a stand-in title that's supposed to like allude to what the song might be, but no other information than that. So you might you might know the number of steps or like other chart features, but that doesn't really tell you enough about the chart to like know like oh this is what I'm going to have to play when you get into it. So, it's not possible to memorize something you've never seen. It's true, and if I if I did my choices right, he won't even have heard the songs before. Oh Jesus. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. All right. What am I starting with? You can play these in any order. You can kind of choose based on what you see on the screen. My recommended order is one, two, three, four, but okay, reasonable. Yeah. I like it. Let's yeah. do it. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. Uh, once again, I'm I'm nervous. Maybe what's my heart rate? One thirty. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not that nervous, but uh, <laughs> let's get it. Let's go. Say, thank you, Tell, for organizing this. And thanks okay. to the contributors. Wow. Thank you, Ash. Oh my God. And even the couch doesn't see this, right? You haven't yep. seen this. I haven't no, seen no, this. No. It's just help. So we have here a another. Composed and charted by the same person. This is Ash Astral, who has been a step media content creator for many years and has also gotten into producing music, and they're pretty good at it. So, this song is actually kind of slipped under the radar for a lot of people, I think. It's from the same event that Align Zeta was from, actually, the song by Nitro. And it was composed for a Sound Voltex custom content contest back in 20, 2019, I believe. So, I'm not going to try to describe the chart at all, I'm just going to let it play out, and you can enjoy the song if you want. Yeah, there's a lot of foot switches going on. Yeah, it's and a lot of brackets. Yeah. In streams. 
one thing, something I get really worried about with sight reading stuff is that I don't know where the easy parts are or the hard parts oh, are. What is, is this? Ash referred to this as the chaos drop. Bracket foot switches? Bracket foot switches. Combo all the way through this. Honestly, didn't, didn't blink an eye. That is not a common pattern. I don't know of another chart that really has that. Not at that speed or that capacity, no. for sure. But you know you know Demo's skill set, and you're like, I think you should be able to handle this. Mm -hmm. And so you put it in the chart. Have you there ever even seen a pattern like that? No, it, it <laughs> took about the third or the fourth one before I realized how you were supposed to hit it. Yeah. Uh, the, the concept of trust we talked about earlier with crossovers also just applies to mixed tech. I think the idea is you just alternate your feet, you know the general foot placements, you just hope for the best. Right. Yeah. And there's also an extra element of trust in sight reading that they're not going to expect you to do something that's completely off your radar. Yeah, like these crossovers, the music makes the same sound, so when the music makes the same sound again later, the patterns are the same. Right. Yeah. And that's a really big element of sight reading is recognizing what the pattern is and how it relates to the music and picking up on it right away so that you're ready the next time it happens. Oh, there's the... Yep. A second chaos drop. Oh, hey. The crazy rhythm. Skittle, triple foot switch. They composed the song. They know what it is. Wow. That's insane. Wow. Only four misses. Very clean. Misses are, like, when you're sight reading a song, like, you're not prepared for anything. You're quite likely to get misses, in fact, and just having four is ridiculous. Yeah, so like I said, you have to recognize the patterns, right, and then be yeah. ready for the next time. Typically, it's the first one. You make a mistake and you're ready for the next one. But sometimes the first mistake, that's a miss. And so you just end up with, you know, eight to ten different misses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, Ash, that was really, really cool, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shout out to Ash. They're always making the coolest steps in music. Yeah. Uh, can't wait for the new pack that they're going to release. Yep. We had, we had some Ash charts lined up for the showcase before we started trimming, and unfortunately had to cut a couple of theirs, but I'm glad we got to have something in. Yeah. So. Yeah, should we get uh, one more donation in before we continue yeah. putting Demo through the gauntlet? Or if there's anything the host has to tell us? Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, you know, I think we might have finally found something in this world faster than Demo's feet. And it's the <laughs> donations. We hit 10K in one track. What? Matt Silver what? is Insane. happening. Matt Insane. Silver is now added. But there is more to come. More. And it's going to push Demo to his limits. Sure. The generator bonus chart Ooh, has just the generator. Fifteen thousand dollars for one more bonus chart to get the generator added to this exhibition. Sorry, what difficulty is the generator again? Seventeen. It's a seventeen. We 17. might even play a fifteen just based on my lungs, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do have a little bit of gauntlet. Off, we can show off the seventeen, but maybe not clear it. I guess we're going from five dollar <laughs> train to seventeen dollar do tra donation train, right, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We skipped right past uh, sixteen. I noticed that we didn't even. We're not even going to address sixteens. <laughs> yep. We're going straight to seventeens. Dude, I've never seen a 16, and I never will. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here's the second one. To the day second I die. Second sight read. Second right. sight read. I'm nervous. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this is impossible. This is, this is going to be impossible. You got this. So this is a collab chart between Beakers and Zaya. Beakers is known for writing extremely interesting technical charts, and Zaya is a very... Uh, he's, he's kind of famous in every stepping community because he knows how to write really good tech charts, really good stamina charts. He's even done a, a couple stamina mods charts, if I remember correctly. It's actually tough. You know how back in the day they had CD titles to track who stepped what songs? Oh, that's right. Yep. And so actually that's an additional level of detail. What is going on right now? We have some like foot switch chains. Oh, I gotta see this before. These are not jackhammers. You're expected to switch your feet for these. And some bursts, yeah. just to make sure that you're reading. Yeah, those 30 second bursts make it balance so it switches from left dominant to right dominant. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You're halfway there. He's definitely gotten the work oh, out. Look at these gimmicks, dude. Uh -oh. This is definitely uh -oh. the Beaker special, right? That is the Beaker special. What I was trying to explain to you is that the difficulty is not the only metric to invoke fear in you. What? What is this? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. 
Speaking of Beaker, it's special. Yes. So we take a lot of influence from other rhythm games sometimes. Like, if we see something that we like in a different music game, like a special visual effect or like a concept of some sort, we'll be like, I bet I could apply that to four panel pad charting in the same way. And so yeah. Beaker's plays a lot of pump it up, so you'll see a lot of like right. pump it up kind of themed ideas in their charts. Even up. Uh, yeah, now we have, hold on, this is a okay, long okay. stream. I just want to draw your attention to that. Very complex, full of crossovers and side switches switch. and side switches. But we're pretty confident that people can handle it, and he is. He's comboing what through the, the park. He's comboing. We thought this, we, we were like, we went back and forth for days with deciding whether or not to nerf this part. It's so common. One when more, one more, one seven your, measure. When you're turning and twisting your body this much and doing side switches, it's so easy to get kind of like misfires from hitting panels that you didn't mean to, but he's just comboing all the way through this. More? There's more. There's <laughs> more. Little outro, little outro. Okay, let the song play out in its entirety. All is to say, Tope, is yeah. that when I see the step artist names, sometimes it invokes fear, and Beakers is definitely a name that invokes fear regardless of the number. I really like that aspect of like, oh, this person made the chart? Okay, I kind of know what to expect. It is very much like that. It, like, the, you know what's cool is I always thought that was a uniquely cool thing about specifically grassroots rhythm games. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't have that for like, you know, if it's all official from a company, it's all that's all hidden behind support, right? But yeah. Yeah, if you don't know who to blame. Right, right, exactly. If exactly. you don't know who to go to their Twitter and be exactly. like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. What's I like, supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, I like to say that, you know, not all 13s are created equal. I would say, you know, uh, I don't know what a good example is, but a Valix 13 is definitely not the same as any other mm. 13. That, that was was that a thirteen? I would say that is a 14. pretty solid fourteen. That's okay. definitely a fourteen. Okay. <laughs> yep. Do we want a donation yeah. before this one? Absolutely. If we got some time. Oh yeah, I got them coming to you. Uh, also, we are. Uh, I say I saw that um, generator was showing twenty. It is fifteen. We are getting that fixed on our end. So sorry about that. Uh, and that is already flying. By the way, we are already over eighteen hundred toward that one. Uh, with donations oh, like this, hundred and ninety dollar donation from Inquiry, dollar matching runner's heart rate. What a ride! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's great a good donation, one. Great donation. Great donation. Thank you so much. DDR coder also sent in five hundred and seventy three dollars. Wow, I'm pretty okay at this game, but man, Demo is very okay at this game. <laughs> donation goes to sight reading. We got sight reading. We got Matt Silver. Let's get generator. We're almost at two k on that. Keep it rolling. We are going to wear this guy out. Oh, my God. I love all the 573 donations. Definitely a community yeah. kind of in-joke. Dima, how are you feeling? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got these commissioned with the idea that only one, maybe two of them would be played. So <laughs> I apologize for how generous the GDQ community was. I don't apologize for that. Yeah, don't, don't be sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, you know what else I'm not apologizing it. for? Oh my god. Black Alita. So you step this one. Yes. And if that doesn't strike fear into your heart, then that's probably okay too. I mean. Even just the musical artist, Black Lolita, um, I've never seen an easy chart to any of their songs. No. It in, doesn't exist. In fact, this is a boss song from a recent version of 2DX, actually. Demo also plays Beatmania 2DX, but I think on him not having played this version yet. Oh! 24th at this speed is so ruthless. So I saw in the uh, menu, right, it was e BP, effective BPM 240. So that's that's what that is, those 24ths. I can't okay. do math that fast in my head. 170 Maybe. times 1.5. Maybe. There's a lot of the chart left to go. Yeah. This is so, definitely music with threatening auras. Yes. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I have a small confession to make. Okay. I lied about the display BPM. No! It's, yeah. it's not just 170. Oh, my God. It's getting faster. Tell Nice. Nice. Wait, when does it stop? What's the largest Ooh. value can be without overflowing? 255. I see the inspiration from the 2DX chart, too. Um, <laughs> He's handling this really, really well. Staying really relaxed, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. This is, like, we're, we're, we're going back to, like, this looks like it should be done on a keyboard. What in the world? 
I love the stutter gimmick on that too. Yeah. We got this a scary little outro. Just for you, Demo. Oh my god. Ooh. That was a really good run. <laughs> it was a really good run. Star? 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 Hey. Star! Or I should maybe or. We should have done a replacement. We'll do that. We'll do that next time. That, that, that star is more money out of Demo's wallet. Yeah. <laughs> on a sight read, no less. He didn't know the song, he didn't know the steps, and, and he I'm got exhausted. a star. And you're exhausted. My and least that's... favorite part of sight reading is just knowing the pacing. I think when I play really hard stuff, I know how hard I can go. I know mm. how much I can recover from a break. But with a sight read, you just don't know when those breaks are. So it's like, <laughs> you're do I... Always full force. Like yeah. You don't know what you're going to have to deal with. But if I go full force, how am I supposed to handle the end? I don't have infinite stamina. Definitely not know. as much stamina yeah. as... Yeah. Game's hard. You just yeah. go for it. Game's yeah. hard. All right, last sight read. Last sight read? Yep. Let's get it. So we did kind of build in a break in this, in this section, just in case. Okay. Had a feeling. Nice. You might recognize these artists. Wow, okay. This is from the current version of 2DX. I was, I was lucky that Zaya already had a chart for this. Mostly or completely done. And he was like, yeah, you can use it. Mm -hmm. So this is, I, I think, much more of like what a standard sight read friendly chart would look like. It's complicated for sure. It's not easy by any means, but it's we're not really trying to throw the player for a loop so much. Have you played this 2DX chart? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the concept of pulling songs from other rhythm games and then kind of paying homages to the original charts in the four panel chart. I thought you did a really good job with that, uh, with the last chart, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. Because I think, especially the post speed up, like it's really exactly like that, yeah. um, which is say very fast. Yeah. It's a little bit of effort you put in for the people who will understand what's going on. Right. Oh, bad. Yeah, only so 11 points. Seems pretty normal. Only two notes off a of perfect score. Common demo W. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell he's getting tired because those feet didn't quite come up enough for the jumps. We're still, we're still going. We're still going. We gotta finish out the sight read. I love the syncopation on this. Yeah, it's so cute. Ooh, those bursts. Ooh. It just because it's quote unquote easier than the other ones doesn't mean it doesn't have spice. Switching back and forth between duple and triple patterns, kind of like 30 second notes and 12th notes, it's really, really hard. Yeah. Very, very precise. It's a lot of brain training for it. Yeah. Woo! Wow. Five's pretty good. Yeah. Five and change. Five and change. Five extra and change. change. Yeah. Yeah. High double star, low 99. Are starting to cramp. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a really good score. On a Those are all hey, really insane sight read. reads. Yeah. yeah. Especially nice. considering, you know, without the misses, it'd be 99. So wait, we got Matt Silver, right? We got Matt Silver. Mm -hmm. Do we get anything else? Any, <laughs> any donations we want to read before we go into Matt Silver? Because, we're still, oh my we're, goodness, Matt Silver. We're still working on getting Generator. We are just over $4,000 out of the $15,000 that we need to meet that. Uh, yeah, donation. Uh, again, these donations are coming in faster than the notes on those charts. Uh, let's see, what do I got here? Andrew B with $50. Go Demo. Love me some GDQ Rhythm Showcases. Donating to, donating to see more with that bonus incentive. I've got $1,000 from Anonymous. More Whoa. charts. More charts. Yes, please. I've got another $1,000 from Anonymous. What? Wow. Demo, you're amazing. Let's get those sight read bonus charts. Thanks to all those who make GDQ happen. Uh, PDR Neil sends in $100. Look at this demo being healthy and stepping accurately while I watch in amazement and eat potato chips. Thank you for being such a great inspiration to our Step Mania community. Fox Die sent in $250. Let's go, Step Mania. Kill it, demo. And Rio sent in $25. Donate so demo's feet go. <laughs> it is a thing that they do. Dima, how are you feeling right now? Terrible. 
Where are you? Where are you Absolutely getting? Terrible. Where are you getting this energy? The chat. Everyone, <laughs> anonymous, donating. You know, two thousand. We got all the people in the community donating from across Rhythm Games. Uh, it's the energy in the crowd right now. Just cross five k for generator. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, man. Your legs better be ready. I'm the sorry, 6K for generator sure already. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. oh, Lord. I'm trying least... to use the Theragun chat. I'm trying to use the Theragun. <laughs> yeah, we're recovering. Listen, maybe. after the set is over, you get to, like, stretch and sit down and right. maybe eat some potato chips yeah. of your own. So, yeah, maybe we're putting let's all get, that energy in. Maybe let's, let's get one more in, and then we'll kind of put him through Matt Silver. Put him through Matt Silver? He did it himself. <laughs> this is his job. Uh, let's okay. see. Oh, sorry, go. Yeah. Go ahead. You All go, right. you go. Yeah, fries with $100. I love Step Mania, and this game has added so much value to my life, and it's mostly because of the people I've met through. If people tell you online friends aren't real, tell them to play Step Mania. Lol. <laughs> much love to Demo, Vincent, Telperion, and Toph. Y'all are making so much history right now, and I'm so glad to be able to witness it. I want to stress that Fries is international. He's across the ocean from Shout us. Shout out to Bill Beans. Gab, wow. I love you. Every day it keeps getting better. There are people that play this game around the world. Let's go, Matt Silver. As the description said, Demo's magnum opus, for sure. And why is that? There's a part. There's a pattern. There are some patterns in this. There's, there's patterns already. I mean, we have foot switches, brackets right out of the gate. But there's a particular section of this song where you really have to get over to the other side. This this pattern is definitely, forget the rules. I don't care how hard it is. We're just going for it. And it does resolve. You just have to be extremely experienced and physical to yeah, do also, it. Also, definitely a pattern where if you get lost, I think, look at this pattern. Ugh. On your feet, mind you. And then turn it around, all the way. Sorry, he comboed it? He comboed it? What? Okay. And do these crossovers just like whipping you back and forth? That part was where I die usually. And he's got a combo. He hasn't missed a note in the song yet. He's got nine and change. And do these purple notes breaking the 16th over them? Also very hard to be precise with. And then one of the scariest things that is done in tech charts these days, the foot switch chain. What is this? If you get off by one note, you can get misses for the rest of the chain and die. I mean, well, it looks like he handled that fine. He, that didn't happen. He did not die. The run is safe. But there's more this pattern. Is, this literally looks like a keyboard chart. It looks made up. Yeah. And a couple of visual gimmicks just to make sure you're paying attention. Attention check. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the rhythm change there. Look at those bracket foot switches and the stutters. Wow. I'll take it. That was an insane one off run. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were tired. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am. I got cramps all over. <laughs> Oh, this, this incentive is gonna, gonna do things to you. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, this where are we at with Generator? Yep, yeah, this, is, this is our moment. We are about to cross $10,000 toward Generator. We can close this gap, chat. I know we can do it. Yeah, that's, I, think, yep. I think we have some more time for donations. We do. Demo's we catching do. his breath a little bit. Yep, right? Gotta get that Theragun back out. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I got you covered there. And stay uh, hydrated. Yep. Viva Lamu sends in another hundred dollars. All right. Oh my God. I mm. knew Demo was gonna pop off, but even knowing the charts will continue to get harder and seeing how incredible this play has been, I I'm just gonna donate more, uh, just cause to support the cause. Cheers, everyone. Proud of y'all. Thank uh, you, Steven. Turk sent in one hundred dollars. King Demo, love the tech showcase and the community showcase. Feel the healing beats. <laughs> Dega Genesis. Thank you, Dega Genesis sent in fifty dollars. Demo, you're an amazing dance game player and an even more amazing friend. You were one of the Aww. first people I ever met in this community, and it makes me so happy for the world to see how phenomenal you are. Go off, bro. 
Love you, Sega. Love you so much, Sega. Thank you for the kind words. Proud to be your friend. JT Vandenbury uh, with the comment, oops, my finger slipped. Did I win? Uh, well, that's $1,573. So, um, oh wow. Oh my God. Maybe. Your friends all want to see you just like collapse on the pads, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the, the problem is with our run, uh, like if I physically can't move my legs, I'm done. And right now I half pulled my groin. So, uh, <laughs> Not not the best thing to happen during a uh, charity marathon, but I'm trying to thera gun it out right now. So feel free to read like one or two more. Yeah, yeah. We just, we're across, the, oh my God, just jumped. Just crossed $12,000 while 12, I was reading. 12, 12, 000. 1, 000. Almost 12, 2. It's flying. <laughs> DDR Kebby sent in $100. Older dance game player here, and it's amazing to see dance games represented once again at GDQ. So happy to see these style of charts finally being showcased. Love it, and great job to Demo in the couch. Uh, God, I glanced back. 12-4, 12-5, 12-6. I'm having trouble what? keeping up. Oof. Make my job harder. I want to see you in, suffer. Telkion sent in $5.73. Thanks for playing my charts. I'm glad to have been a part of this game for the last three years. Just probably talking. 13 k 13 13-1. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Sore sent in $20. Hey, GDQ chat and Demo, I wrote Flying Castle. I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, did Lapic Lapis get iPad yet? <laughs> uh, oh, God, 13-4, already still climbing. 13-7, 14-2, as I'm going to get flying by. Whoa. Oh, my. Uh, uh, sorry, back over the donations. I have got... Edward Crowley with $250. Always look forward to these events. Perfect way to spend the week before the students return for the next semester. Keep on being awesome, runners. If this is read out loud, hi, Kenton. Oh, God, 14-5, 14-6. Still uh, moving, it's still gonna rolling. Happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. Gonna happen. Yeah. Soccer wow. Rico with $10. As a DDR player who has cancer running in the family, it's amazing to see Demo stomping it on the dance plaid. Thank you. Sincerely, Dangerous Dancing Rico, DDR. Oh my goodness, 14-8, come on! Uh, $50 from HTT Priestess, I love that name. Shout out to Demo for moving his <laughs> feet cool faster than I can move my eyes. We 15 <laughs> Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god. So... Thank you so much for all the hype, all the love during this, during the, uh, the first time we were doing tech on GDQ. All I can say about this song that you're about to see is I'm not going to clear. And I hate to be a buzzkill, but I've only ever cleared it once in my life. The world record on it by the stamina accuracy god is a 94. Oh. My score is a 75. So once again, I repeat, I am not going to clear this song. If I do, it'll be a miracle. Um, but you know what? We're gonna see what a 17 looks like after seeing a C of 14. So if nothing else, I hope you're impressed. I'll probably do some shout outs at the end and we'll call it a run. So thank you so much for all the hype. This is my absolute limit. So if that's interesting to you, that's what you just donated to see. <laughs> all right, let's get it. <laughs> yep. yes. Thanks for sticking with us. Pretty I didn't actually think we'd be always. So let's talk about the, st the STAM tech scene okay. a little bit, all right? So we kind of mentioned, like, we saw a little bit of tech mods. We saw how, like, the two communities can merge and create a chart that uses elements of both. What is STAM tech? STAM tech is, I, I feel like stamina and tech used to be very separate, but really stamina is something that's relevant in all disciplines of four panel right. play, right? You need stamina to play tech stuff. And this is just pushing the limits of stamina within tech. Right. Pushing the limits of speed with intent. And this is a chart that, so a lot of the charts that were in the main set were charts that might pop up in head-to-head -head tournaments and people were expected to get like, you walk up, you do your one Play run once. on it, you try once, you get a score, and it better be a good score. Yeah. Charts like this, you have three or more months to grind out, play over and over and over again and get your so best be possible run. Because so it's not expected that you'll be able to do it reliably. You would be rewarded and like you're so lucky to even just get a single clear on it, oh regardless God. of the score. Yeah. 
So it's a really short song. If I fail, it's gonna be in the middle, like beginning middle. So I will try it a few times. So we'll restart a couple times, see, see how in shape I am at the end and uh, do go into some shout outs. So thank you everyone, let's go. Yeah, this song is from Sam Voltex. It's a 19 out of 20 on that scale, but even within the 19s, it's considered super hard. This is a 17, and I would say even within the 17s, this is hard to like, with, it's all, a, the, with it's, all the tech. It's a cheap Skittles chart, and Skittles is known for uh, no holds barred kind of charting. Uh, how fast was that? Excuse me? 255 BPM. This is, is the same fast. speed as the last, that one sight rate song. 255 BPM. The patterns here are crossovers, but at this speed, it's so hard to turn your body that fast. So <laughs> just to get through it, right? Getting through is hard enough. We just opt to double step it to get through it. We have a death run here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push, 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 push. Push. Get through this, get through this. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No keep more going, running keep going, down keep for the break. Go. Oh, it might be alive. Let's go. Oh, I got no ice. Yeah. No. I literally. That was the first really hard part of the chart. Yeah, definitely after playing all this tech at that difficulty Multiple with that 14s. level of timing, yeah, it like it definitely does a number on your body. I'll keep showing you the chart though. Yeah, we'll look through it. But I did fail there. Yep, the life bar on yeah, the left cool. is drained to zero percent. We'll turn on autoplay yeah. just so it's less distracting. Oh, dude, these uh, patterns of the speed are aggressive. It just keeps going. It doesn't stop. Some cheeky crossovers if you want to do them. Uh, I feel like not that many people in the world have even passed this. You can you can see it's the under, leaderboard up there, yeah. Under 30, yeah. less than 30, like or around 30, more. yeah. Definitely less than 50 people in the world have even I have not passed it. it. I don't think I've even played it. <laughs> Why would you inflict pain on yourself intentionally? To get better at the game. That's true. Okay. Wow. As long as it's a <laughs> constructive pain, you know. A constructive pain. Should we play Meteorite? What do you think? Yeah, let's play Meteorite. Okay. Let's get Meteorite. How do you feel? I feel like the game for us. Okay. Wow. It was, so, it was busy generating. Yeah, so again, like, I know we pushed for that, but like, I, I literally... I literally, physically cannot do that. However, we can show you a 15, which I can definitely pass. So gonna do a 15, then we'll do some shout outs. Do yep. we have time, Game and Shout? Uh, yeah, looks like you got time. Okay, I'm amazing, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. This sounds terrifying. It's very hard. It's, a, it's harder than anything I've played, but where's, it's also not generated. Where's the downbeat? Is, oh, there, yeah. is there a downbeat? Is there it, a downbeat? It, is a, it is an interesting beat. It's there. I believe this is a genre, a genre of music known as footwork, which is what Demo is doing right now. And it focuses on polyrhythm and just a lot of mixed rhythms in general, so. Yeah, a lot of syncopation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is like the kind of song I would have made, uh, I would have liked to make a chart for back in the day. I think this actually comes to us from the Osu community. It was one of the. Oh, wow. It was, I think, I don't know if it was a sight read song or a final song in some tournament that was run. Break titles is it 2L? 2L, yeah. 2L, yeah. 2L has a big presence in the BMS community, the music source, also in the Osu community these days. Yes, uh, another thing about like timing these syncopations I want to talk about is that a lot of new players see this as like too fast and it's like hard to keep up. At this level, it's actually, because the syncopation is so like frequent, there's actually a lot of space between the notes. So it's actually a really common problem to play things too fast and to not give the note spacings the respect that, that's there. So it's a rush. Yeah. It's very common in upper level play to rush everything into like hit a note as soon as it arrives on the screen rather than trying to place it, you know, delicately with the, the tempo of the music. A so small strong. 200 BPM stream. Some brackets. And this is ex this is the type of chart where it's exactly what I'm talking about, where like it fatigues my body so much that I, I lose the rhythmic accuracy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is first of all too fast for you to keep up with. Secondly, too intense physically. And third, just gosh darn complicated. Oh. What are these rhythms? <laughs> what are these? What is going on? I'm just gonna start hitting arrows and hopefully some of them will be right. 
Yeah, this is like a percussionist's dream. dream yeah. Like nightmare, maybe. Or nightmare. Definitely a dream. That is definitely wow. some WGI level rhythms. What? That was insane. Oh my god, six minutes. I can't like comprehend oh. that. Oh, I almost got a star. <laughs> That's almost a PB. Almost a PB. Almost star. Almost star. I'll take almost star at this point. At this point in the run. Oh, ooh. I just throw stuff out. Oh, thanks. Okay. We can call time there. Thank you so much to Game and Shout, production team, chat. Um, I wanted to go through just a couple of shout outs. Uh, is that okay? A anything else you wanted to say before I go to some shout outs, Game and Shout? Nah, you, you've earned this. I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, um, first off, let me turn down the game volume. Second off, I want to first and uh, foremost thank all of the creators of the stages we played. Um, this game, like I mentioned at the beginning, is a grassroots effort. There's no comms team. There's no CEO. There's, there's nothing really going on. It's just a bunch of devs who contribute to the community, a bunch of folks who not only build the stuff that we run events on, but also create the charts, also stream. Everyone does everything. So thank you so much to the creators. ITG Alex, Ross, Chief Skittles, Snooze, Tatez, Talkion, Nav, AKA Sephiroth's Paradox, Sore, and possibly my favorite author right now, Zaya. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you all, love you. Um, my fiance, my mom, our collective families, those who we've lost this terrible illness, including my great uncle, survivors of this terrible illness, including my grandfather, aunt, and fiance's mom, love you all. Spooty Biscuit, thank you for encouraging me to apply to GDQ. Um, thanks for you know, the encouragement, love you, man. Thanks for the advice as well. My couch, uh, especially Vincent for being in town. Uh, tell Pierin for not being anxious. Toe for getting married. I'm so proud of you all, um, and thank you for being a part of this. Um, the entire Step Media community broadly, thank you so much. Tech, Stamina Mods, Casual, love you. And uh, finally, uh, uh, you. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the hype. Hope you got to learn something today. Hope you can discover our niche community once again at itc.dance, itc.dance. Um, yeah, and you can follow me at bromead, B-R-O-M-I-D on Twitch and Twitter. So thank you for this opportunity, GDQ. We love you and um, uh, let's, you know, kick cancer's ass. Thank you, Demo, so much for sharing that incredible demonstration with us. That was, I, I am sitting here. I am absolutely blown away. I know chat is completely blown away as well. I love that we get to do this with these remote GDQs. As much as I wish I were there in the room with everybody, I love that we can get things like this that would be so much more difficult to do on a physical stage and get a chance to show off these other parts of high execution gaming for an incredible cause. I want to get in one more donation here real quick from Inquiry in celebration of everybody who made those incentives happen. For $100 donation, Inquiry said... Let's go, Twitch chat. With that, we are going to take a quick break. Don't go too far. We're going to be back before you know it with more amazing speed runs and gaming. I can't wait. I know you can either. We'll see you real soon.
Welcome back, everyone, to Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 Online. Oh, I, I'm still catching my breath after that uh, Step Mania showcase. I cannot even imagine what's going on with Demo right now. Goodness gracious. Still some more donations I want to make sure we're getting to here. The Comfy Mummy sends in $25. Shoutouts to Liz Star and the behind-the-scenes tech crew for keeping things running. Uh, I'm absolutely going to echo that, y'all. If, if you're not aware, there are so many teams that you do not see working behind the scenes to make this event happen, whether that's the crew in the studio, whether that's our amazing donation team, our chat mods team, our social media team. There are so many parts to making a GDQ happen that are all absolutely essential and uh, like absolutely send love to all of these people that are working so hard to make GDQ happen and help us do something amazing. I also want to take a moment to talk about one of our sister events, Frame Fatales. Mark your calendars. Frost Fatales 2023, GDQ's next all-women charity speedrunning event, is coming up February 26th through March 4th. The Frame Fatales community will be raising money for charity and spotlighting the talented women in speedrunning. For more information about Frame Fatales, go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatales or do exclama sorry, exclamation point FF in the chat. If you're a woman interested in joining the FF community, DM at Frame Fatales on Twitter or head to our website. I absolutely love uh, everyone that works on putting up Frame Fatales. It is a fantastic event. It Absolutely go out and support it. Also, uh, prize submissions for Frame Fatales are open. If you have awesome stuff, please send it in. One more donation I want to make sure I get to here. Uh, Gus and Mac with a $5 donation. Step Mania and Sky Bills, stupendous. I absolutely agree. The Step Mania was amazing. Sky Bills is going to be stupendous. I'm not going to be around for Sky Bills, though. This is the end of my hosting duties at Awesome Games Done Quick 2023. Everyone watching, as always, it has been my honor to be here with you, to keep you company, and hopefully keep you entertained during some of these amazing runs. Thank you all for sending in donations, for sending in love, for helping us use gaming to do something awesome in the world. I am leaving you in some of the most capable hands I could imagine. My friend Sakura Zubasa back on the GDQ host mic. I am so happy that we've got Sakura back this event. You are going to have an amazing time. With that, my time is done. I believe we are due for a daily recap, and I'm going to try and be a little bit more intentional about going to it this time than I was at the last event. You all take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Interview team, take it away, y'all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final daily recap of the week. That's so weird. It's already Friday. I'm here with Adef and Kizron and Fiesel. Um, No sign of Hobbs or Spike. We can do it without them, right, you all? Uh, we can they do stink. <laughs> they smell. All right, well, we are here this evening to talk about some of the runs that we have really enjoyed or thought were awesome and just wanted to give um, some highlight on from the last day, uh, plus a couple other things this evening before we all, you know, let you go into the final day of the marathon. So um, let's just get straight into it. Keys, I know you had a couple things that you wanted to show off. Um, so oh, yeah. just tell us, tell us all about it. Go. All right. Uh, so Prime. Metroid Prime, multi-world rando. As I'm talking right now, whenever the clip plays, it'll probably replay like two or three times because it's that quick. Who here has played Prime? Do you know Dark Samus? Dark Samus is usually really annoying to take out. You know what Bash does in this randomizer? Bash has power bomb. Dark Samus falls apart in one hit. It's pretty absurd. I, I can't even imagine winning a fight that quickly in that game. But that clip was so quick that I actually do want to talk about a second clip of another game that I really enjoyed, and that's Haiku the Robot. So Quacksilver absolutely destroyed this run, but of course, we didn't have a saver kill the animals necessarily. Instead, we had Dunk Haiku, question mark, as an incentive, <laughs> with the options being, yes, 
because it's funny or no, because it's faster. And I know how all of you in chat are. You want the funny, you want the memes. So of course, we had to dunk haiku. Really simple, half court, into the bucket, swish, so on and so forth. Incentive achieved. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I like the little kind of like Metroid fun time. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna take a moment and talk about one that I was really excited about. I'm sure you all must know at this point, I love Power Wash Simulator and the co-op was awesome. I'm going to show you this clip here of just the very beginning of the run. You can see how efficient they all work together. Remember, this is a six person co-op doing all the vehicles. So they're starting here with a van. <laughs> and it's this extremely fast, extremely smooth process. Now they're using like the best and strongest, um, uh, I was gonna say weapon, it's not a, I mean, it's kind of a weapon, but like um, attachment, weapon. yeah, yeah. Whoa. In the game, um, it's the trident, which you get like right toward the end there. Um, and you can just see how they're, you're supposed to have like the basic first level power washer for this van, but no, they get it done in like a few seconds. I think the bike <laughs> took them under three seconds to clean. I want the I want a view of everybody's mouse in that clip. <laughs> just like, ah, he's gonna clean the car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just imagine like mouse cam for every single. Yeah, runner. exactly. Just, exactly. Yeah, you can see this clip is like. I mean, the clip is giving us enough time to honestly get into the second vehicle, which took like a few extra seconds to clean. It was so fast. It was amazing. It wasn't until they got to like the boat that it took them a little bit longer. But it was awesome. Super super fun to watch. Um, what about okay. you, Adif? So on the topic of like cooperative play, um, there was this amazing run today that you gotta go back and watch if you missed it between uh, Gyrule and Rastats. The two of them were showing off uh, Track Mania, Track Mania Turbo, but they are, it's not exactly two player, one controller per se, more so they both are controlling and like one of them has 50% of the steering and the other person has 50% of the steering and they are just doing like really wild stuff here, uh, able to traverse these tracks in such a fast manner, only controlling like half of the car. They're spinning around, flipping through the air, going for these like really cool shortcuts. Highly recommend you check out this run. Uh, the two of them are showing off a level of coordination that's like, Really, really amazing. Um, Agreed. Agreed. Just really awesome. I agree. And yeah, I mean, Track Mania is always really fun, and they had good energy throughout as well. Um, yeah. Everybody was so excited. <laughs> Their commentator was, like, hyping them up the whole time. It was <laughs> super fun. Yes. All right, what uh, else you got for us? <laughs> so, uh, on the topic of fast gameplay, uh, we've had some amazing Super Mario World uh, uh, showcases at GDQ over the years. This one is among them for sure. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing uh, uh, showcase of play in elephants and snakes and crocodiles. Uh, Rudy is just showing off really amazing movement on this quick segment where you have to like avoid these spikes on this like auto scroller, I guess is what you would call it, but it feels so much more involved than that. Uh, if you missed this game, you gotta go watch this entire run. Uh, the, the the control of Mario here is just really unprecedented. Agreed. And according to the commentary, um, these platforms give you extra momentum, and that was like custom coded by the person who made this. <laughs> amazing. So it's like a new thing for this kind of uh, this kind of Kaizel, which is amazing. Um, and then Fiesel, we we want to hear from you as well. What were you excited about from the last? All right, I got more Mario for you today. We had Super Mario Land. So this is a race between EIP and Retroverse. Super Mario Land, a nice short, sweet game, very catchy music. Um, so here we are, World Two Three. We're in our submarine, of course. And now you can't save time in an auto scroller, right? That's what what Grandma always says. You can't save time in an auto scroller. Well, actually, <laughs> that's what my Grandma yeah. says <laughs> all the time. People, but, yeah. no, watch on the, she calls me to tell <laughs> me. Yeah, the watch on the left right here. So you create a one block bump at a certain height. You push left just as you get off the screen, and then like as you're off screen, you do some off screen movements, and you trigger the. Uh, you end up behind the boss, and you trigger the uh, trigger that ends the level. So, pretty cool. Nice little boss. Sure. I, that's the opposite of what grandma told right. me. I, I <laughs> grandma would not approve of this that's game, wild. but you should go back and watch it if you missed it. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, we are trying to move things along a little bit today because we just have so much to chat about, including what you all thought were your favorite things from the last day. So let's get a couple of your social comments up from um, your favorite runs. We, of course, have to start with the wonderful um, elephant snake <laughs> crocodile emoji. That was uh, one of the best answers, I would say. It was, and again, a great run. That was something we pointed out. 
We also have Cult to the Lamb, which was a wonderful run. Uh, there was like a cool a follower dupe that they explain right in the middle of the yeah. run, which is really cool. You got to go back and see that. Um, plus, you know, you got to see like the true final boss ending. Uh, we got to see Worms Armageddon, which is an absolutely wild run with some of the most incredible yeah. sound effects I think I've ever heard. Um, uh, Kaizo Mario, all of the Kaizo, Kaizo Mario things were up. Um, and uh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff that people people are all like echoing each other on, on all of these like Kaizo runs and... Um, everything that's really been going on in the last day. So speaking of speaking of the last day, like coming up, we got to also mention what we're excited about for tomorrow. So uh, Fiesel, I'm actually going to start with you. What are you excited Sure. About? Well, I'm looking forward to Maui Mallard and The Lion King. We got 16-bit Disney-based cartoon platforming, big squishy animations. I kind of, I love these, these cartoon, like 16-bit cartoon platformers. Really good stuff. Sign me up. Yeah, agreed, right? <laughs> All right, Keys, what about you? Uh, I mean, I could cheat and pick the Pokemon game, because of <laughs> course, but I'm really super excited for the Metroid Dread race. Metroid Dread is a fantastic game, still fresh from release. It's only been like, what, a year and a half? Uh, not enough people have played it. Not enough people have ran it. You need to watch this race. It's going to be fantastic. Agreed, agreed. Well, you kind of took mine. I was really excited about Metroid Dread, so I'm going to echo that. But also, I am really pumped for Pokemon, but I'm excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus, because that is going to be an all-lords run. Uh, I'll be hosting for that. That'll be kind of like my last thing with you all. So um, I think it's going to be great. And like almost at the end of the marathon. And then ADEF. I'm Dark Souls 2 all the way, baby. I <laughs> love Dark Souls. And I, look, you could be mad at me, but Dark Souls 2 slaps. Uh, and the <laughs> speed run of the game is really incredible. It'll be the old Souls run. Uh, you got to check it out. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. Like, no matter what people think of, of whatever whatever their tier list for the Dark Souls series is, the speed runs for these games are always fantastic. So mm. I'm with you on that. Now, okay, I thought it would be really nice to take a moment before we all go and uh, share some moments that we have with our very own Spike Uyama. Or, oh my God, Spike, <laughs> Spike Uyama. Spike Uyama. Spike Uyama. Spike Uyama. <laughs> Mike Uyama chat! Mike Uyama. Oh my goodness. Ooh. The time Reddit's when my brain fails me. Up oh, now. <laughs> we can talk about Spike, but I'd rather talk about Mike this evening. So let's share some moments uh that we've had with Mike over the years. And um uh I'm gonna I'm gonna jump actually back to ADEF because I think yours is one of the oldest memories. Uh there. yes, uh the though maybe I don't look it. Uh I've been around a while. Um and my first GDQ event was Summer Games Done Quick 2014. Um I ran Mega Man 1 at that event. And uh after that I submitted for AGDQ 2015, the same game as a race with Cool Kid and Dexter, and it got accepted. And in that day and age, uh, you could post on the SDA forums with questions about the games list, and Mike or somebody in the games committee would just respond. And uh, somebody posted a comment, I don't remember who, on the SDA forums that was like, why is Mega Man 1 in again? It was just in. And Mike replied to the comment and said, well, all three runners are so great, we had to put it in. And my, I was like 15 or 16. I remember reading that and being like, oh my God, I'm good at the game. People <laughs> like me. Uh, so that was just such, I've, I've always looked up to Mike uh, and uh, it'll be a shame to see him go, but we're excited to see what he does. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Fiesel, I'm going to jump to you. What do you think? Okay, yeah. So, um, so Mike used to speed run Turtles in Time and we'd show highlights of the of this game on TSSB. And when I was editing the highlights for his runs, there's this like silly winking face that Splinter makes during the ending sequence. And I would include the Splinter face in the highlights like every week. And this became a meme after a while. So then I see Mike at SGDQ, one of the early ones like 2012 or 2013, something like that. And I take, him, take out my phone and I'm like, hey, Mike, make the Splinter face. And he makes the face, and I snap a picture of it. And I don't even remember where I posted this picture, but to this day, it is still one of the top pictures that shows up when you do an image search for Mike Uyama. <laughs> and I'm very proud of this fact. This is my legacy. I love that. I love that. All right, I'm going to go real quick, and then we will end on keys. Um, so I just have this image in my mind. So we are at... Um, our first $3 million for uh, raised for GDQ. And I just remember being in the crowd and like Keys and I are on like um, uh, Spike and Hobbs' backs so and we're running across the front of the crowd and we're so excited. And then Mike comes out and he's got like the mic in his hand and he just like, ah! 
Scarlett's just like screaming all the way down the crowd. And it makes everybody go absolutely like wild. Everybody's screaming and just like seeing him come out and be that face of like, he always does like the yell. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's always had that to like get the crowd hyped up, especially at the end of the marathon. And that one in particular always stands out to me and will always be in my brain forever <laughs> for any hype moment. And then let's end on keys. All right, I'm glad that I got to end this because uh, Mike has couched for me for two separate Animorphs runs, <laughs> two different Animorphs games. The first one we suckered him in. We were like, you want to be a part of this? He's like, sure, I don't like fun. And I was like, ah, perfect, this is the couch for you. And then when I got to do Animorphs again at AGDQ 2020, uh, I asked him, do you want to be on the couch again? And he's like, only if you couch my super highlight run. And I was like, this seems like an unfair trade, but I'll accept it. And Mike being a bigger memer than anyone realizes, totally went with my random idea of, hey, does the couch on stage have a pull-out bed? <laughs> you and my commentators can pull out the bed and lay in it because it's comfy, awful games block. And he was like, that's a great idea. I'll do it. <laughs> and five minutes later, and th th this includes Sumi at this point too, five minutes later, Sumi runs up to me, puts her finger in my face and is like, you better make sure that nothing bad happens while you're laying on that bed or <laughs> you're in trouble and the couch is going to be a couch again. By the way, Mike, your outfit's so cute. And I'm just like, <laughs> That's that's my mic moment. Oh, that, that right so there. So good. All right. So we have Mike on like the hype side, on like the meme side, on everything. Mike has been around. I mean, Mike is, uh, I don't know. I just, just thank you. Just a big thank you for being here all these years for helping make this event what this is and doing everything that you have. Like, especially as a few of us who have been running hotfix shows, we know how much you've been doing behind the scenes every day, all throughout the year, all the time. And so uh, we're excited to see what you do next, but we just appreciate you so, so much. So if we can get some thank you mics and some hearts in the chat, that would be fantastic. Uh, but just want to sign off for now so you can go watch the next one coming up, which is the Super Mario All-Star Shuffler by Skybills. That's going to be incredible. And I uh, just want to say thank you again here from the interview team on our last daily recap for this event. Oh, it's so weird. I can't believe it's the yeah. last one, but... Big, huge thank you to Mike, and uh, we will we'll see you either tomorrow for those who have things, or at the next event. Take care, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to AGDQ 2023 online. Thank you so much to Mr. Game and Watch for the amazing shout out, or Mr. Game and Shout. Oh my gosh, I am the worst. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the amazing shout out. My name is Sakura Subasa, and I have the honor of hosting the next three amazing runs. Coming up next is an all four games, any percent, no wrong warp, Super Mario All-Star Shuffler run by Skybills. And this is a run that you're not going to want to miss. So during the break, we had a $10 donation from Black Phillip that says, all right, Sky, you know the drill. It's time to shuffle up, present for cuts, draw seven cards, and wait, what do you mean it's not that kind of shuffle? Looking forward to seeing you crush this excellent Super Mario Shuffler. Good luck, have fun, and remember, always blame the shuffler. And there's still time to donate for the Super Mario All-Star Shuffler uh, incentive that we have, so please make sure to keep those donations coming in. Uh, we have a bit of a ways to go. Uh, before we can make it, we're at 16,700 out of 40,000. And it looks like it's time for the all four games, any percent, no wrong warp, Super Mario All-Star Shuffler run by Skybills. Here we go.